Hello, welcome to the Mino Joomla Tips. The Mino Joomla Tips is a podcast screencast about Joomla tips and tricks. The Mino Joomla Tips is brought to you by ContiCreative.com. I'm your host Marco, and today we are going to cover an issue that often comes up with Joomla, and this is especially for web developers that build websites for uh, their clients, but also for those that want to customize their Joomla installation so that administration goes a little quicker. But I'm going to look at it from the aspect of a web developer delivering a website to a client. Often clients complain that Joomla is too complicated. There are all these icons, uh, there are all these things going on, there is a menu, where is this, where is that? And uh, I should say that it's uh, a valid complaint. For somebody that looks at Joomla for the first time, it can look a little bit overwhelming. That's why uh, many prefer lesser CMS that look more simple. But naturally, a simpler CMS often means a CMS that doesn't have all the features that you need. And whenever I use open source CMS other than Joomla, I hit a wall at some point where the client wanted features that I wasn't able to deliver as cheaply as I would have been able with Joomla. But I believe there is a pretty good compromise and a way to streamline the Joomla interface so that your average client has access to all the areas of the site that they need to interface with without seeing much of the rest. And I'm talking mostly of the control panel icons and menus. Now, there is not much we can do about menus. There are lots of extensions that will add a menu for you and maybe that's a solution to place just the items that a given client might need. But over the years, I've used an extension available for Joomla called Custom Quick Icons. Custom Quick Icons essentially allows you to customize your Joomla control panel. And I guess the initial motivation for this extension was to add the icons that are missing from the control panel, but can also be used rather easily to take out icons and substitute them with icons that a client might need on their site. Custom Quick Icons installs rather normally from the extension manager and once it's installed is available in the components menu. We click on Custom Quick Icon and we see that what we have here is a list of icons that are present in the control panel. I'm going to duplicate this tab so that we can switch back and forth between here and the control panel. By the way, you might have noticed that initially the other screen had a lot more icons. I'm using a VirtuMart installation of Joomla that comes with VirtuMart pre-installed and I'm using it from my local server. Obviously, they have modified the icons a little bit. A first login it shows more icons and then apparently it doesn't but that's not important for the purposes of our podcast custom quick icon is very easy to use we go up here and click on new we want to create a new icon on general we choose among our components the one that we want to insert let's say re-replacer which is a third-party application just click here and it gets added we can also customize the cpanel depending on the user level and that's a very interesting feature because it will allow us to give the client an administrator access and customize the administrator screen for them exclusively while leaving the super administrator as is or even adding more icons that we as super administrators might need we can also assign a set of icons uh, to a specific user. Now, on this side, unfortunately, there is just me. But if there were more users in the administration, I could choose one of them and create a completely customized set of icons by changing the existing icons and uh, by creating a new set. Once this is set up, we can simply enter the name of the icon and we can put a prefix and a postfix and we can insert the title tag. We can also make it bold if we want. In fact, here we can uh, pretty much enter any HTML we want. In the display, we can look in our image folders for an icon to apply. Custom Quick Icons comes with a set of icons that you can utilize to dress up your uh, new icons, or you can download Linux style or Mac OS style icons uh, from a good number of sites that you can use, or you can also design your own. And all it takes to use one of those icons is to drop it in the custom quick icon folder on your server. So right now I'm going to choose this icon here simply because this is not exactly what I'm going to be using custom quick icons in this podcast. 
but just to show you what can be done and I'm gonna click on after checking that everything is okay yes I'm gonna keep it a super ministerial so we can see the new icon and now going back to the Cipano I can refresh and there is a new icon which I connected with the Comri replacer and there it takes me however if we want to simplify the Joomla interface, we don't want to add icon. What we want to do is delete some of these icons, those that are not needed. And that's easy enough to do by going to custom quick icon and simply unpublishing, like for instance, the front page icon. Most of my clients rarely use it. So we can take that out. And if we go here and refresh, we can see that the front page icon is gone. Another nice thing that we can do with custom quick icon is this. We're going to create a new icon here and on another screen I'm going to go to the module manager and choose a random module. For instance, the Who's Online module. Now all I have to do is copy the Who's Online URL from index to the end and insert it in the custom quick icon component field. Here we insert a menu, we can make it bold. Again, we can select an icon and I'm going to choose this information icon. Again, I'm not doing it as I would for a client. I'm just doing it to show you how it's done. And now let's go back to the C panel. And as you can see, we now have an icon that if we click it, it's going to take us directly to the module administration. So that's a nice jump. We don't have to let the client go to extensions, module manager, look for the module. So if a client has a number of modules that they have to interact with on a regular basis, we can simply create an icon for it. So I guess this is pretty self-explanatory. We customize these icons so that our client doesn't have to look for his or her elements all over the place and is not going to be distracted by the icons in the cPanel. We can in fact uh, uh, change the name, add maybe an explanation of what each does, etc, etc. Another thing that we can do incidentally is here on the right side where these modules are. These are nothing but regular Joomla modules, only they are assigned to the administrator. So for instance, here we have the logged in user, popular, recently added and menu stats. We can add our own custom HTML modules here, just like we would on the front end of the site. We can unpublish the ones we want. Like for instance, let me unpublish logged in user. I'm gonna go here to the cPanel again and logged in user is gone. Now that's one of the modules that maybe we would want to leave there. But for instance, we could create a new module and we're gonna make it a custom HTML and maybe we wanna call it help. And here we can write instructions, tutorials, whatever it is that we think would be appropriate for the particular client and all we have to do is put it in the right position which in this case would be cPanel and we're gonna apply refresh and there is our help module not pretty I'll give you that but we can use it for a number of, uh, of things we can leave for instance our uh, contact information a link to our email a link to a, a CRM that we have put together it's just a matter of polishing the site so that when we deliver it is not just the front end that is polished and well done but also the back end takes into consideration the particular limitation of a given client the particular needs of a given client well I hope you enjoyed this uh, issue of Termino Joomla tips this was a fairly quick edition but I hope that you found it useful again remember that there are other extensions for Joomla that allow you for instance to have custom menus so look into that as well and check out the extension list there are new extensions every day that they do something that wasn't possible until recently again this is Termino Joomla tips I'm your host Marco Termino Joomla tips is brought to you by ContiCreative.com we provide Joomla web development Joomla training and Joomla Consulting. Drop us an email if you need our services. I hope you enjoyed this issue of Termino Joomla Tips and I wish you all a great week. Peace.